just got in from picking up a new batch of meat chicks and I'm so excited to be starting all over. We've got eight more weeks ahead of us until butchering day and I'm hoping all of them make it through, you know, fingers crossed. It's normal to lose a few to health issues, but it would be interesting to be able to get these ones too all the way through. I've got you here. I uh, posted a TikTok the other day of our chicken plucker when we were butchering and it sort of blew up and I'm not too sure how to explain why. Um, but there's been a few questions I'm going to take some time to answer. If anybody finds this from TikTok, hello, thanks for finding me. Um, the first one is what is it? <laughs> our uh, chicken plucker is a yard bird poultry plucker. They're made by yard bird pluckers and hand plucking it takes a lot longer to pluck so because we're doing a couple batches this year we didn't want to spend time hand plucking them while we're learning to butcher because I just didn't want the extra stress. And um, the other question is how come it doesn't bruise the meat or tear it up? You can tear it up. There's a few things that you have to do properly in order not to damage it. So when you're scalding the bird, which is when you're dipping it in the hot water, you can't do it for too long. So you only dip it in until either the skin on the feet starts coming off or the feathers on the wings and tail come off nice and easy. And then you know you're ready to put it in the plucker. Um, there is no blood left in the bird, so it's hard for it to bruise because we've already drained the bird prior to that. And, you know, I'd recommend it. If you're eating meat and you have somewhere that you can farm, just have a couple chickens. Try it out with like 10 and see how it goes because honestly, being able to see where your food comes from, I think, is really important. And the only reason I might think that is because my stepdad was a butcher when I was growing up. So I was able to walk into the coolers and see it all happening at a very young age. I think it was no older than six. So when I was butchering my chickens on the weekend that just passed, I actually had my parents with my little siblings come out. And uh, we showed my brother and sister, who are only six and seven, how to butcher chickens and they were a little bit grossed out but they weren't scared by any means once we showed them it was all chopped up and it's in parts that they recognize they became curious and they learn that's where food comes from and this is how we get it and I think it's very important to respect the process of raising the animal to begin with because not a lot of people even know <laughs>
thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope to see you again later.